All right, boys and girls, it's the weekend before Christmas. We're running behind as always, and uh, we're gonna get there in the dark so we won't be able to scope out this new lake. Well, we've been there before, but we haven't been there in a while, so like probably around six months or a year, or something like that. So it's kind of a new lake, you know, we made it. But we're gonna go for some big ones. We haven't been getting too many big ones. We've just been going fishing for the joy of it. And uh, we wanna prove to you guys that these boilies are the ultimate of the ultimate. Also got a bait spray going too. So we'll talk a little bit more about that once we start hooking up, eh, Bill? Yes, sir. It's gonna be cold. Oh, yeah, that's Close another the, thing. Both in the 40s, which for us in SoCal is reason super cold we're gonna see if we can't get a, a nice oh a nice santa fish you know what i'm talking about that big belly something just crashed in the back of the car but we're in route Hopefully be there in an hour. nothing broke first fish of the night this crazy catfish he's probably gonna flop right out of my hands but we got the nice mat here so hopefully i can hold on to him this lake we're fishing these catfish here are so short and so fat this guy doesn't look very big but he's probably like eight to ten pounds and like not even 20 inches but these are short stubby weird channel cats they might be a uh, like giant big brown bullheads i never thought about that if you guys know let us know i thought they were channels but now i'm kind of thinking they're bullheads but uh i'm gonna get a picture and get this guy back we're going for carps but uh got this catfish on billy's rod but i put the real handle on the wrong side so i reeled it in but uh, at least we got his new rods broken in. We'll talk a little bit more about those later. Now we gotta get this guy back. I'm probably gonna get splashed a bunch here, but try and let this guy go. It's a little bit shallow in the release zone, but there he goes. Nice and little muddy release. What do you say, Bill? On the board. Boom. All right, now hopefully we can get a carp. We uh, didn't get in carp tonight. <laughs> But the plan was really just to get some bait out there so we could have a great time tomorrow. And we did just that. Got a little lucky and got a little catfish. I don't know how well it showed up on the video. It was like pitch black out there. But let us know if you think that was a bullhead or a channel cat. I honestly don't know. I need to get a new headlamp too because we couldn't see diddly out there. And I think we're going to get two headlamps. One for me, one for Bill. And maybe a little lantern so we can... Uh, do some work out there in the dark now that it gets dark at like 4 p.m. Kind of got weeded out out there. Yeah, these forgot. big old weed patches that kept blowing through, so we wouldn't even cast out because we would have just instantly gotten snagged up. But other than that, goal accomplished. Got some uh, some bait out there, and hopefully we'll have a, a good sesh tomorrow. Yeah, boys and girls. Anyways, got a little bait spray made. We'll show you guys that. Got some new boilies, a sicky boily recipe. And uh, peace out for now. Seems like no matter where we go, no matter what time we leave, we always hit crazy traffic. It's like 10.30 and we're in bumper to bumper traffic on the freeway. Nowhere to go. Nowhere to go. And last time we're fishing a completely different city, completely <laughs> different side of the freaking, I don't even know. Like, 60 miles away. Yeah, and there's the same traffic. So, LA sucks. <laughs> You know what it is? Yeah. How'd they get that TB going? <laughs> I have a happy ending to the night there, huh, Bo? <laughs> TB lounge. Uh, hello. All right, fish homies. We got some new headlamps. Me and Bill both got new headlamps. We're cruising out during the daytime, as you can see. So hopefully, we have all the essentials and the knowledge to catch a car. That was my like speech. How was that, Bill? Oh, it, was, it was inspiring. Quite oh. inspiring. <laughs> yeah. I hope you guys are all inspired now to get <laughs> headlamps and go kart fishing. <laughs> but we'll show you what it takes to get out there and get fishing and get you some big winter car. Nice little Sunday here. Both got work tomorrow though, so hopefully we kill them early and don't have to stay all night.
All right, guys, we're casted out. It's 3.30, as you can see. We've been casted out for about uh, 20 minutes, 30 minutes max. And we just saw two jumpers. We haven't seen any action in the past 30 minutes. We've been here for about an hour. There's someone fishing our spot and we decided to wait for him to leave. And they're jumping now. So hopefully they're jumping for joy and they're ready to eat our baits. You saw what time it was. Let's see how long it takes us to get one. Cross our fingers if we even get one. But uh, yeah, peace out for now for hopefully not very long. Minutes after Spencer gave you the update at 3.30. No alarm on his and it just starts tearing. I'm gonna try and go on this side of your rod, so. Hopefully. This is gonna be difficult to land them, boys. Should I get ready with the net? I'm trying to think of how I can land them here. That's a good one. Dude, you might have to reel your in. Or the middle one at least. I didn't think about that. They're like right where we need to land them. Maybe under? What? Not really, huh? You got a reel in one of them, dude. Okay. Back on the decent ones. All right, guys. It's been a while since I held up a decent one like this, but you can see this one almost looks like one of those European carps. I mean, look at that belly. He's eating those fish shrinders, boy. He's like, there's no tomorrow. If you guys want to get you some big fish, hit me up. We're getting the range going now. We got the bait spray. We got three kinds of boilies. They're not the cheapest. But they're not going to be that expensive because they're from the USA. But anyways, this guy's definitely over 20. It took us about an hour probably to get him. Got him on a, a, a cork ball pop-up with a little floral corn on top. I'm going to get a little weight on this guy. Alright guys, we're going to get a weight on this guy. He's ready to go back. And the weights, the, the net's like a pound and a half. So it's like a little over 25 pounds, I think. That is a great start, boys. Let's get this guy back in there. All right, homies, that was my first uh, fish over 20 in quite a while. We've been fishing a lot of spots just to catch carp and uh, we haven't really targeted the big ones recently. But I think we're gonna get back into it. Kind of forgot how nice the fights are and everything. Anyways, I kind of want to show you the rig and everything that we're using here. So you can see we got the little flat pair of lead. It's a three ounce weight from Fox. We have the lead clip obviously. This is the tail rubber so if your weight does get stuck in the rocks or something it can pull this tail rubber off and the late weight will come free so you fight the fish without the dangling weight then we have probably like an 8 or 10 inch leader right here this is 20 pound coated braid and we have a little tungsten putty here over the knot just to hold it down on the bottom and we have this little uh, loop tied in it as you can see just to give the hook more range of motion and uh, usually you put shrink wrap, but I put a little uh, tail rubber here over the swivel. It's a quick change swivel that's attached to the hook. And that is what you call the spinner rig or the Ronnie rig. And these are the homemade boilies that me and Billy made. We still haven't thought of a name for them, but they are fire. There's actually a little ball of cork in the middle of them and they float. And then we also have this fluorescent yellow corn from Enterprise. I think it's blossom of pear or something kind of smells like high chew banana flavor so 
that is what's been deadly for us folks so this will sit up like two inches off the bottom and the carp just can't resist you know what I'm saying we saw that one jump and snagged him like 15 minutes later still haven't got my rig back out there because I am pretty exhausted that was a mentally crazy battle I really didn't want to lose that one so now I'm gonna check and make sure my hook is still sharp and uh, cast back out there one more thing I want to show you guys so these are these are some cork ball pop-ups you can see there's some big ones in there those are like neutrally buoyant so they just kind of hover off the bottom but the hook will still stay on the bottom easier for them to suck them up and get hooked easier then we also got a little signature strawberry bait spray out now this is like a high attract you can spray it on your bait before you throw it out you can spray it on your pack bait or anything but let us know if you want it. I think we're gonna do like a kilo of boilies and a bait spray for like around thirty dollars give or take like five bucks and then if you want the cork ball pop-ups it's gonna be a little more because obviously we gotta buy the cork and everything but uh, let us know since we're doing a winter carp fishing video yesterday I think was like the first official day of winter it was like the, the winter solstice so once the water starts to cool down in your area you can start switching over to very high attract baits if you don't use those already like white pop-ups or pink or yellow like high vis yellow and you can if you're using boilies try to use ones that aren't high in fish meal because the carp don't digest those as fast in cool water other than that pre-baiting with pigeon food or some kind of small seed can help draw them in in the winter time because they're obviously not going to be loading up because their digestion is a lot slower here in Southern California it stays pretty warm year-round but it does drop into the 40s in the dead of winter so uh, we kind of made a little switch we have some high track boilies with some hemp oil in them and that kind of rises to the top and helps bring the uh, fish down to your bait also using a little pop-up if you're fishing over like gravel or super short weed or something a pop-up is always good just because it sits up above everything else and it might be the first thing they see and hopefully the first thing they put in their mouth you know what i'm saying anyways hopefully we can get one more before the sun goes down it looks like we've got like 20 minutes if not hopefully we get one when the sun goes down i guess mm. All right, guys, Billy's on one. He says he thinks it's a catfish. I'm gonna have to help him net it. It's super dark, so I'm gonna put the camera down. What do you think, Bell? It's giving some good head shakes. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna get the net. All right, guys, well, Billy is the cat man. We freaking got another one. It took a huge run. This one's probably double the size of the other one. It's actually a nice one for sure, but, uh, we're plagued with cats, huh, Bell? Yeah, I'm just the, like, uh, like Spencer said, I guess I'm the cat king. <laughs> I think it's like in the, uh, what are those, like, crab-flavored uh, corn pop-ups I'm using. Oh, yeah, the monster crab flavor, super so, fishy. I'm thinking super fishy. But, uh, hey, at least this one's got a nice belly on it. Yeah. It's got a little weight to it. Put up a good fight. Yeah, a good little fight. Wah. Good-looking good dude. Yeah, big up whiskers. <laughs> We're gonna get him back. I. He wiped out all of our other rods and we only have enough for one more PVA bag, so we'll see how the rest of the night goes, but this might be our go home fish. Ooh. That's the only problem with catfish when you're carp fishing. I love me some cat, but when you're trying to go for big carp and they just keep taking out all your rigs, eating all your bait, it gets a little tough out here. Well guys, we got our last cast out there. We ripped it out there, try and get it deeper than where all the catfish are chilling. I don't know if it was a very good cast, but we're out of bait. So we're gonna leave it for probably like an hour. If we don't get anything, we'll probably get out of here, but we'll let you know what happens. We didn't get more than one cart, but at least we got a giant one. We're ending the night off right though. We're staying healthy, staying fresh, and we're getting yub way. Check it out. You know what it is. Yup. Spencer likes foot long, you know? Yup. 
love them foot lungs, boys and girls. But anyways, we're gonna grab it and pass out. We might go back tomorrow, but we have work and then it's Christmas. So who knows what's gonna happen if we don't go peace out for now, fresh hammies. You know, I'm thinking I'm gonna get uh, <laughs> maybe steak. Steak sounds good. Uh, Alright, we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> 